many people have a problem in remembering muscles of the human body, their structure, their function, and the neurovascular structures that supply them. Are you one of them? You need not to worry, because I got you covered. I used to have the same problem. But what is the secret of remembering muscles of the human body? It's by dividing them into compartments. I will use muscles of the lower leg as an example. Let's look at the fascial compartments of the leg. The fascia compartments of the leg are the four fascial compartments that separate and contain the muscles of the lower leg. From the knee to the ankle, the compartments are divided by septa formed from fascia. The compartments usually have nerve and blood supply separate from the neighbors. All of the muscles within a compartment will generally be supplied by the same nerve. The intramuscular septa. The lower leg is divided into four compartments by the interosseous membrane of the leg. The bones of the lower leg, that's tibia and fibula, the interosseous membrane and the septa form the borders of the compartments. The anterior intermuscular septum, the transverse intermuscular septum, and the posterior intermuscular septum. Each compartment contains connective tissues, nerves, and blood vessels. The septa are formed from the fascia, which is made up of a strong type of connective tissue. The fascia also separate the skeletal muscles from the subcutaneous tissue. Due to the great pressure placed on the leg, from the column of blood from the heart to the feet, the fascia is very thick in order to support the leg muscles. The thickness of the fascia can give problems when any inflammation presents in the leg has little room to expand into. Blood vessels and nerves can also be affected by the pressure caused by any swelling in the leg. If the pressure becomes great enough, blood flow to the muscles can be blocked, leading to a condition known as compartmental syndrome. Severe damage to the nerve and blood vessels around a muscle can cause the muscle to die and amputation might be necessary. So, if you want to remember the muscles of the lower leg, divide them into compartments. Let's look at the anterior compartment. It has tibialis anterior. Extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and peroneus tertius. What are the neurovascular structures that supply? The fibula or peroneal nerve and the anterior tibial vessels. The lateral compartment. The muscles that are found in this compartment are fibularis longus and brevis, also known as peroneal longus or peroneal brevis. The neurovascular structures that supply this compartment are superficial fibula or peroneal nerve, and fibula artery. The deep posterior compartment. What are the muscles found in this compartment? We have tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitorum longus, and popliteus. And the neurovascular structures that supply this compartment are tibial nerve, posterior tibial vessels such as the fibula artery. Finally, we now have the superficial posterior compartment which has the gastrocnemius muscle, soleus and plantaris muscle, supplied by the tibial nerve. You have a good reason to remember muscles of the body in a given site. Just divide them into compartments. Thank you.